So before I get started with today's video, I just wanted to mention this is a collab with Jessica Lee, Hey Hey It's Hayley and Amanda Woldrop. Make sure to go in my description below and subscribe to all of them and watch their video as well. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So from the intro you would have been able to tell that this is a four way collab with three another small amazing YouTubers. I did say their names at the start of this video. Um, because I can't remember them right now and I can't look at my phone um, because I'm filming on it. I know one's Hey Hey It's Hayley and then I don't know the other two YouTubers names however I have already said them at the start of this video so I'm not going to go that much into this just I want to make sure you guys know that their uh, YouTube links are first three lines of the description down below. Make sure you go and click on them because they're all amazing. They make great they make great YouTube videos, and I like their videos so much. They're so cool, uh, a lot better than mine, I must say. Um, but yeah, so for our videos this Sunday, we have all chosen to do what is in my, and then we've all filled in the blank. So I'm doing what is in my like keepsake, so things that I'd like to keep for the future or things that I don't use day to day but I could like need in a few weeks time and things like that. Um, I have no idea what the girls are doing right now because we were having a bit of a discussion of it the other night. Um, but So it's a surprise, so go on their channels anyway and find out what their videos are and subscribe to them and watch their videos and comment and be really nice. Um, but yeah, so today I'm going to be doing what is in my keepsake box. So before we get started with this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And let's get straight on with the video. So guys, this is my sort of keepsake box and there's a little sticky label there that says keepsake. So my mum sorted out this box for me and she labelled most of my boxes upstairs because I'm really unorganised so I need a bit of help sometimes. So this is just the London Underground. Uh, Euston, King's Cross, St. I can't say the next word anyway. So yeah, so it's basically the tube map. And um, what I have done is this is not the whole of the keepsakes. I know this looks really full. It's because I kept going uh, and rummaging through it, through it the other night because as this box is so full, I don't want to go into detail with everything that much. So I've picked out a handful of things which I'm going to go into much more detail than the rest of the things, which is on top of the uh, freezer right now uh, because I'm in my conservatory. So I'm going to speak about those in more detail, but but I'm going to do those later on in the video. And I'm just going to basically show you guys what is just roughly in this box. I'm not going to go full into this because, honestly, guys, you'll get bored as. So, guys, I've just tilted the camera down, and I just want to tell you guys now that this box is not organised whatsoever, and I haven't touched this box in quite a while. So not everything in here are keepsakes. Just to warn you guys that, because you might think they're, they're all keepsakes, and why have I got certain things for keepsakes? Because I haven't organised and I'm not a very organised person, you see. So I'm being very honest with you guys right now because I'm just telling you guys straightforward that I'm a very unorganised child. Anyway, let's get straight in. So the first thing I have here is some of you guys might actually have this anyway if, um, if you like to YouTube and are a fan of YouTubers. This is um, Alfie or Pointless Blogs um, advent calendar from last year. I kept this. I think I was because... I was going to do, not last year, the year before actually, because I was going to do this again last year, but I uh, clearly forgot, it's just been sat in here. But, um, so, that's just been sat in there. So, the next thing I have is a very out of date tube map, January 2016. I mean, I think it's, I mean, it's around about there, unless they've created any stations in the past two years, which they probably have. Um, but yeah, let's go straight into this next one. So this is a book which time I was, uh, once once I was filming a video and I had to like use it to cover up because it has like my details. Yep, yeah, right there. So I'm just going to uh, turn it my way. And uh, yeah, in here I've basically types of people on Snapchat. Oh, this is when I was planning loads of videos and things. Oh, did I, did you see anything? I'm not quite sure. Um, 
uh, basically all I've got in here is some video plannings and stuff like that. But I think I should start using this again as it would really help with different subjects, especially now that I'm in GCSE. And by the looks of it, I haven't really been in this box for about two years straight. Next, I have this, which is, I think I got this out of a magazine. Go girl! You go girl! Um, this is really hard to show you. Uh. So basically it's just a cute poster that says you go girl and it looks like this so that looks very um girly and unused so you can tell that i'm very unorganized and do not really keep this box to a keepsake box i'm just sort of sort of you know keeping it as a storage box and things like this so now in here is a carry bag <laughs> quite wrongly and in here is loads and loads of paper look at that guys and in here are like five or six different maths papers from when I, um, what was I doing? What was I doing? Maths papers, obviously, practicing for maths test. So, next thing I've got, this is like the world's most messiest box, guys. I have a daughter card. What does this say? We warned her if she didn't tidy her room, we would. That's so funny. And uh, we've got random bags and just loads and loads of cards and advertisement thingies so we also have a little frame in here i should actually put a photo in here uh, but i need to find a photo like what's this called portrait because most of the photos i take nowadays are in landscape um so i need to find a photo where's the little butterfly gone oh no it's been squished so basically i was going to try and sell this once but it's been sat in a box for over a year oh so this is a charging thing which you turn on by the bottom here but i'm not going to do it because it's going to go crazy then you put this on here and it sort of charges up and then it you can do this and put it on like the back of your hand or the front of your hand palm of your hand sorry and it'll just flap like a normal butterfly but obviously i haven't really um done that because it would what would it do it would flap quite a lot and you can just see the bottom of my lips here also guys if you're wondering i am wearing my pajama bottoms obviously you might not be able to tell that because obviously of the cracked screen which i'm very organized and haven't got fixed yet so it probably is still a bit blurry anyway next thing oh, i have been in this box recently but that was just a uh, chuck in this maybe my mum did that i'm not quite sure though oh and i know what this is I went to Cornwall, I've been to Cornwall twice, and the first time I went, I didn't really get people that much, like, presents, I mainly got my mum, my sister, and Buzz a present, because my dad and that lot were all with me, so I didn't really get them a present, and then the second time I went, I got my auntie and my cousin a present, now I still have the presents here, but I don't know where the other one is, but this is, like, one of them, and it says... St Michael's Mount and I haven't yet given it to them so I might give it to them next month at uh, my cousin's gender babies reveal babies they're twins um so I might I don't know who like, if I can find the other one I'll give them both one if not I'll just have to decide which one is my favorite mind you I have got one of them a present to already give for the thing so I might give my auntie this so she might be receiving this. And uh, just to warn you guys, um, she doesn't know I have a YouTube channel, so it's good that I'm showing you and I know that because um, otherwise she might be able to see. Right. Oh, this. Have I got a better version? I've got a better version of this. And I'll show you guys what it is later. Um, broken Lego. You can tell how unorganised I am. What's this cup? Oh, my God. I remember getting this cup. So basically, I did brownies and guides and rainbows. I left guides um, just because my schedule in high school, round about year seven, year eight, started to get a lot busier. For those of you who go to high schools and that, you know how busy it can get, especially in year seven and year eight, but obviously, especially in year 10, year 11, now year nine. Um, so I sort of quit because it got too busy and too hectic. Hectic? What's the word? It is hectic. It, well, it is, isn't it? So yeah i thought i thought just quit and you know i did help out at brownies and i did go to brownies myself but um yeah and i got this butlin's summer of hugs so there was this free hug me machine at uh butlin's when we went to and we basically could get like free can of coke every day oh and this is a i think from the same place 
I I like going to places and you know like collecting things. Well, oh yeah, it says buttons on here as well, and like collecting lanyards and things. And I also have, you know, like not being offensive or mean to anyone, but like, you know what old people take to the shopping centre, like woven bags. I bought one of those because it looks nice and it said buttons on it. No, not being stereotypical, saying that old people have to take woven bags to the supermarket. I thought I'd just point that out because it just, like, reminded me of it. Reminded me of it. Right, reminded... Oh, my God. So, basically, I had drama today, GCSE. Yes. Oh, my God. And I was speaking about this today. So, basically, we're doing the Crucible at the minute in class. And I opened this box yesterday, in fact, to see, obviously, which bits I was going to talk more detail into. Even though it looks and sounds as if I'm actually talking more detail, detail into everything. And we have basically done this again. So this is what I did last year in, when I was in year 8. And I was Abigail. And um, today I was Paris. So we're learning that for GCSE. And our teacher said um, it's a bit more of an easier play and uh, thing to like learn and write about. So we're either going to write about it or act on that but depends if it still stays in the um what's it called oh my god i just moved it look at this wow magic um depends if it's still in what's it called like gcc guys out there oh i can't remember but like if it's still like a choice for the teacher to choose i don't quite know the right word for that so if someone could let me know and comment that would be brilliant thank you and um this is my big messy box so i think we should go into the stuff i want to go more detail into so guys we're back up here now and uh, you can see me properly and um the reason i chose out some more um items and things from my keepsake box was um because they have like more of a reason they're in a keepsake box and they just have i have more to talk about them and i just want to point out listen to this you can't probably hear anything but you might be because my mum's just hoovering upstairs because my sister's bedroom is being decorated. Mine's next, guys. If you want me to film it, let me know and I can film like the progress and things and get my mum to film some progress and things. But yeah, I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, so I keep looking this way because I keep here talking and shouting and I don't know if it's at me or if it's at mum or if it's at Charlotte and I can see Buzz put up the table for dinner. So I think I should hurry up on this. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab from like the special pile and just show you guys the things. So the first thing I picked up is this London Street Atlas. Now I believe it was either a present or just a gift uh, f uh, from my dad's. And it basically what I have sort of done is I also got post-it notes with it. And I've basically said where I've been and then put the... What's, what are these things called? I'm not very um, brainy. Um... I put, oh, what's it called? I do map reading. I do map reading at cadets and I can't remember what this is. This is called, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Um, I've wrote down the things, these. So up here and along there. So I've been to Camden Town, Madame Tussauds. Oh, that's where I was going to go, but we didn't go there in the end. Uh, and Liverpool Street Station. So, I really like this because it's handy. If you just go to London, take it out of your pocket, bam, you can just write down the places that you've been so you can tell people when you get back from London, I guess. So, the next thing I have is this Pax Lodge sort of United Kingdom mug. Now, I think I can just think of where and why I got this. So, um, when I was in the brownies, um... I think we went to we went to this place called Pax Lodge because I believe it was like an anniversary of brownies or girl guiding actually. I think it was the anniversary of girl guiding because there were some guides there. Was I a guide at that time or was I a brownie? I think I was a brownie if not a guide helping out at brownies. That was it. I was a guide helping out at brownies. Uh, I was helping out with my old brownies as a guide. That makes sense. So I went back and saw everyone I already knew. And um, uh, we got one of these each. Pax Lodge, you know, got the girl guiding sort of symbol. I uh, haven't actually used this. It's probably a bit dusty. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know why I don't keep it on, um, like out on the shelf or something. Because it would look a lot nicer. Because when I went to Cornwall for the second time, I brought... What's that? Yeah. When I went to Cornwall for the second time, I brought a mug that says I heart or I love Marazion, which is basically the little town, little town, little village 
road thing uh, that we stayed in in a little cottage. Um, so I I currently use that mug because that is the only mug I, ha I now have currently using. Um, reminds me, I really want a cup of tea later. <laughs> and um, so yeah, that is basically the only cup I use. I don't know what I'm going on about cup using cups, so I should basically put this off on display so I can see it. The next thing I have is also related to Cornwall. So basically, on the last day, on the second time we went there, um, me and my dad got a lift with all the suitcases, suitcases, with all the suitcases um, from the man who owns the cottage. Is my voice going weird? I don't think so. And um, Gabby, Kieran, Beth, and Josh, they walked along the beach um, because they're Phoebe's, they can walk longer. Um, me and my dad can't walk that long in a short amount of time. So as obviously we got a lift to, um, by car to the station, it took us like a lot less time and it started to rain a little bit. Um, so my dad went and waited inside of the outside sort of bit of the station and um, me, uh, I think, I don't know where my dad went. I think my dad went to go and check like train things and all that. And he was waiting with the suitcases and all that. And he said, Chloe, why don't you go to like that travel bit across the road, like near the bus station? Cause the bus station and train station were, um, obviously they were like t connected or like partnered or together. And in that I bought the little Cornwall pack of cards. And I don't really play cards. I don't really know card games. I've never actually used these before. I think I bought them as like, just as like, what's it called? I'm forgetting everything now. Just as like a memory thing. So we all have these and it looks so nice. I just can't play cards though. I'll have to get my sister to play cards with me. Cause um, <laughs> oh no, I've dropped them all on my lap. <laughs> Trust me, eh? Um, but yeah, I think Josh is starting to get into cards a little bit more now. So I might ask him uh, if he knows any games. But yeah, if not, I might just keep these as like just a little keepsake thing. Let me see if I can get it back in the little box. So I have a little pack of playing cards. The next thing I have is sort of similar to going to Cornwall and London as well. So this is basically London Paddington to the west of England. So we basically picked a couple of these up so we could see the trains because we had to wait at the station for quite a long time. Um, so we picked up one of these and uh, Dad said, oh, you can get one as well if you want to just keep it and stuff. So I got one of these. So it tells you all the train times and numbers and days and it's got a load of numbers and words in so I thought you know let's just keep it and not do anything with it and shove it in a box and never use it so there you go <laughs> let's just do that so I have one of these oh my god guys this is one of my favorite things a Morrison's food bag sandwich bag even so I did this I think in year seven this is when I had uh, my year seven teacher Mr. Roberts in computing I'm hoping this isn't too cold because I'm in the conservatory and the conservatory is a bit cold. So we were doing some sort of computer thing. I say thing because I have no idea what I was in factly, in factly doing. In fact doing. Has instructions. Who wants the instructions? I actually know it says warning on it. Safety warnings. Oh, we'll be... Oh, okay, I'm not going to swim. I'm not going to jump off a mountain and I'm not going to shove a fork in it so I think we don't really need them right let's put this back in the sandwich bag so I think I can remember this now I think you can like code these little things and they have like words on them now, I really don't want to like get an electric shock here I have no idea what I'm doing as well. um oh. um if anyone wants to comment down below you know if they know what these are Oh my god, it's saying C-H-L-O-E Edwards. Oh my god, it says Chloe Edwards. That is so cool. Wait, there's a T. Chloe, wait one sec. Chloe is, oh, Chloe is one, one. Oh my god, it says Chloe is 11. 11, that was two years ago. Two years ago. Right, guys, now I'm going to have to struggle with getting this out because I can never do it. Ha, there you go. Did it straight away. <laughs> so, guys, the next thing is another thing to do with Cornwall. So, I bought these two books, I think, in, like, just some keepsake 
keepsake um, little shop we went to. I'm not quite sure where we went, but I can picture it. Um, had like loads of things. <laughs> oh, I can I know exactly where it was, but I've no idea. So I remember the second time that we went, we went on this bus journey to try and get back to our little cottage, sort of Marazion area. And we decided, we went through this little village thing with like a harbour and everything and we just decided to like jump off the bus and have a little look around here. So basically we had a family ticket which we could go on any bus for however long we wanted to and we jumped off of this place and we looked around like little stalls and people were drawing things and there was loads of little shops and I bought these books, The Cornwall's Beaches, The Guide to the Best Beaches and Ancient Cornwall, A Guide to the Best Sites. So these are really fun and I haven't in fact read them so I don't know if they're fun or not. But uh, yes, they're these. So I'm now just going to go have my dinner and then come back to you guys. So guys, I am now back from dinner and um, I hope it's not around my mouth because I don't know why I keep looking that way every single time I start a clip. Uh, hopefully it's not on my mouth. I had spaghetti bolognese and it's really nice and uh, I just washed up so I thought I'd come and finish off my video. Um, Use my new lighting which I got for Christmas, so the lighting is still, it's still bad, but it's getting better. It's gonna get better and better and better, guys. I trust you, I trust you, trust me. Anyway, so I think the last thing that I showed you guys was, I believe, the books, because I was telling you the story. Um, so I think we should get straight on to the next thing. So the next thing is also another one of my favorites. I'm gonna have to hold it this way. And some of you guys might already know what this is, depending if you've done it before. But in fact, it has my dress on this side. If I can just cover it. Voila. And then that E2R. Right, let me do this. It says ER Buckingham Palace. So I wonder what this is. <laughs> so basically, I don't know what year is in. I write letters to the Queen. They did them a lot at school, but you can also do it out of school. So you can just randomly write a letter to the Queen and one of her assistants will write you a letter back. So my letter says, 29th of July, 2015. Dear Chloe, the Queen wishes me to write and thank you for your letter in which you tell Her Majesty about your proposed project. Although unable to reply to you personally, the Queen greatly appreciated your kind thought for her and I enclosed some leaflets which you may like to have. You may also wish to visit the Royal website, that says the Royal website, which gives you more detailed information about Her Majesty, the Royal Family and Royal Residence. I am, th I am to thank you very much for once again for writing as you did. Yours sincerely, something something lady in waiting, Miss Chloe Edwards. This is my... Lovely letter. I look like that because I didn't know if my dress was on there as well. Yes, yeah, so and my letter. I think I said I wanted some like information and things because I was gonna like do like a project on her or something when I was younger. So she sent me leaflets. Now I think I know the reason in which I did this. When I was younger, my sister got sent loads of leaflets and hers, and I didn't get any. So I said I'm writing a project and I want letters and things. So I have a what's this called? Family tree. Then have the Queen's Working Day, Buckingham Palace, and her early life. So I have these all together, still in the envelopes. Obviously, no. If I just, you know, find it one day, obviously know what it is and where and how I've got it. So I've got to try and put it back in the envelope now, haven't I? So there's the letter. The next thing I have is my Imperial War Museum Duxford ticket from when I went to Super Camp last year with cadets so yeah here you go <laughs> and and whoa <laughs> so next i have this leaflet and this leaflet is hydro park alcudia because this is where we were going to go on i think either the last day or the day before the last day but it was too expensive so we didn't go but i've still got the leaflet so i could have gone if I wanted to in my head, but we didn't. So, you know. This is another royal thing. <laughs> so basically, I was telling you guys what about was in that box earlier, and I said, I've got a new version of this. So basically, when I went to super camp last year with Air Cadets, we met Prince, I don't want to get this wrong, Henry. Or Harry, Henry. 
Is that the same thing, Henry and Harry? No? We met Prince Henry. So I met Prince Henry uh, with Air Cadets and um, it was really cool. I didn't get to speak to him because there's this really old lady. Well, not really old, but she was sort of old and she was like, and she stood right up in front of us when he came to speak to us. So I hate that lady because we nearly spoke to him. Anyway, so this is a little leaflet. I have it basically all about the day and that. So basically Super Camp was a, basically a camp that I did with cadets. I'm just gonna put this up here. And um, I went on a camp and I'm also trying to get on a camp this year. Obviously you can't expect Prince Henry or Prince, I swear it's Prince Harry. It, I think it is the same thing. I'm just gonna say Prince Harry. Um, I. You can't expect Prince Harry to go on every single camp you go to. Um, some people met Carol Vorderman. Um, she has something to do with the RAF. I'm really bad air cadet, so I have no idea what she's got to do with the RAF. Um, but yeah, so we also went to Duxford. We did different things each day. So we were split up into three squadrons. So loads of different squadrons from like Scotland, Wales, United Kingdom, some Gibraltar. Um, people spanish people came over and we all were split into three squadrons and we went and did different things each day and within those squadrons were like five groups so we all did something different each day which was really really exciting and um and i'm going to show you some more things i have so next i have some leaflets and things here so next one is another duxford map which um i don't really need because i don't know when it's going to go to duxford <laughs> and i also have this now I spotted this, I really wanted to go on this boat and no one else did. Well, I say no one else did. I say the adults didn't really want to go on it because it was more of a child thing. This is it here. And oh, nearly dropped some other stuff in my lap. And on here there is snorkeling, swimming, lunch included, kayaking, bar, wheelchair, <laughs> toilets, um, so it started at 10 a.m. and it was approximately five hours, so it ended at about three o'clock. 57 euros per adult and 28.5 euros per child. And it was so fun. There was like barbecue, we were swimming in the sea. That was the first time I actually properly swam in the sea. Like actually in like the middle of nowhere, like in the middle of like some water. Like all I could see was like, m not mountains, but like hills and things. And like there was just a mini boat and I was swimming in the water. I don't know why I sound so surprised. But I was swimming in like the proper water. Not like the beach water at like the shore. The proper, proper water. And then there was this one bit where we'd all finished lunch and that lot. And no one else wanted any more because the flyers started to get into it. So the, the captain, I think, of the ship just got the rest of the food and just chucked it over the sides. And then loads of fish kept coming to us. So I was like, quick, I'm getting back on the boat until we go to another place to swim. Because I didn't want to be eaten by fish. They're about this size. So, you know, I decided to go in and sunbathe instead. Next, I've also got this Alcudia Market City Experience. We went on this and we went to look some at some markets. I don't think I bought anything there, actually, apart from, I think, oh, what did I say in my vlog? I think 20p for the toilet? Oh, yeah, mine was 20p to go to the toilet, and everyone else's was 50p to go to the toilet. So, make sure you go before you go anywhere. Otherwise, it will cost your money. <gasps> So guys, the next thing I have is, I keep saying this every time, but this is one of my most favourite things, which is also I chose this out and I forgot that I did it. So at the start of year eight, I believe October to November 2016, I was involved with Shakespeare Schools and we performed at the Maria Theatre in Lowestoft. Now, most of my family come from Lowestoft. Well, I say most. A few people from my family come from Lowestoft, um, the majority from my dad's side. Um, but I've never been to the Maria Theatre. I've always I've seen it there though. Um, I believe Lowestoft is about an hour away. So with the school, we had to go up there uh, once just for like sound checks and everything like that. And then we obviously went up there on the day. So this is Shakespeare Schools. Um, my dad bought me this um, for three pounds, the, pro the program afterwards, just so I could keep it as a, wait, what was this? What's the thingy again? As a keepsake and uh, and ah, in here straight away this program is obviously the same each time it'd be easier to just do that wouldn't it <laughs> is it it's the same each time so um i bought one of these but also you get these for free this is the order of 
events cast list. I can open it. This is the cast list. So there were four performances. One by Red Oak Primary School, one by John Grant School, one by Pakefield Primary School, and then one by my school. Which I'm not going to say because that would be very stupid of me to say my own school. So I'm not going to say my own school. Mind you, I did just do that so you, know, you can't see. Eva, you've got really good eyesight. Anyway, so you can't see. But I'm going to read out which, what was I? I was gentleman attendant of Cordelia. Now, back in year eight, I didn't really, I'd say I didn't really enjoy drama that much. I loved drama. I've always loved drama. Ever since we had that first, like, fake hot potato lesson in, like, year four. And, um, so we did that. And I didn't get a really big part because as I want. It was the start of year eight. I just finished year seven. Year seven, everyone like doesn't really know a lot properly, do they? With all these new subjects and things, you start. Um, so in year eight, I, I wasn't very good. I must admit, I wasn't very good. I'm not saying that I'm perfect or good now, which I'm not. Um, but year eight, I I hardly knew anything about drama. To be honest, I didn't know how to act. I didn't know how to write about a piece of uh, theatre or a piece of. Um, I was about to say music, but that's my music lessons about a, a, like a play or I don't, I didn't know, I didn't know anything about drama. Now I'm in year nine and, and have started my GCSEs, my three year GCSE course. Obviously I have to know things and I've been learning more things than I have at the start of year eight. So at the start of year nine, I've, obviously I've learned a lot more. Yet in year eight, in year seven, in drama, all you did was act against scripts and things we didn't really use scripts you made up your own things uh, but in year nine we now do something called devising which is where you make up your own like script and things which i have done i th i feel like it was an amazing performance i really enjoyed performing that and then we also do script work which i was talking to you guys about earlier we were doing the crucible um which we're also doing for i believe practicing writing as well which i feel like it's i feel like it'll be hard Obviously, all GCSEs are hard, but I feel like drama is one of the ones I'm actually going to, like, be able to do easier than my other subject. So, if you would have seen my GCSE video, I'm doing history, drama, music, and photography. Obviously, maths, English, and science. So, yeah, I basically did Shakespeare schools with uh, Mr. Stone, but he's left now, so I've got a new teacher. So guys, I've got two more things to show you, but I need to be quick because my mum wants to come and uh, tidy up in here. So the first thing is um, holiday photos. I'm not going to show them all to you. One, because it will take a very long time, and two, because you've already seen the video and the vlogs. If you're not subscribed to my vlog channel, link in the description. Um, but in here, I have all my pictures. I'm just going to do like... Just a... So if you want to see more on my holiday rather than me showing you all the photos, make sure to go and watch my Mallorca uh, holiday video and also my vlog channel. When I went to Cornwall for the first time, my dad also took some photos and printed them out for me because I didn't really do photography that much as well. So I also have 10 photos, like just random photos of me and funny things like that. This next thing I'm definitely not going to like address there again um you guys have already seen these in my favorites video so i'm not going to show you these these are my um photos of george my 10 free ones so if you do want to find out what are in these make sure to go and watch my favorites video i'm not quite sure which one it is but it's my most frequent i believe it's my october favorites september favorites just before i went away on no, it was my October favourites because it was the end of October and I did it early. So if you want to go and see what's in here, go and watch my October favourites. So guys, I've just got like two more things to show you and then we can quickly uh, end the video because I, I, I do need to hurry up and then I can edit this. So this is my Felix Day Karate Club and in here I basically have all my gradings. So I'm a blue belt. So this is my last grading. And this is everything I have to do. So basically, they tick everything if they think it's good, bad. So they tick it out of five. And uh, they write things that I need to improve on. They highlight the belt I'm going for. And I got a merit on that one. And they just write a little paragraph of things you need to do to be able to come better in the future. And the last thing I have to show you guys today is the Russell's International Circus. Circus. So I went here, whoa, with, oh, 50% off voucher, with um, my mum and Buzz and all that. And it was really, really fun. And um, so we bought one of these as a little souvenir. Actually, my dad bought me this, actually. <laughs> oh, that was nice. So um, he just gave it to me because they bought two. Um, 
because they went as well. Actually, no, that was a lie. I went with them and then I went with my mum. So that is everything I have for my keepsakes. So there you have it, everyone. That is everything I have of my keepsakes and in my keepsakes box, which is really unorganised. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Make sure to go in the description below and subscribe to the three amazing collaborators I'm collabor collaborating with today. Make sure to check out my vlog channel and also make sure to check out my social media, which are also in the um, description below. And I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye!